Hi there, and welcome to Thursdays with Annette. I've got my apron on, my oven's preheated to 180 degrees, and I'm ready to bake you a fantastic recipe today. That's right, we're baking out of book three, which is a fantastic cookbook, and we are making sticky lemon loaf. Look, lemons and oranges are in season right now, and I know a lot of you have got them on your trees, so what a perfect recipe for you today. And I'll tell you how you can do the variations if you don't want to use lemon as well. So before we get into the recipe, let's talk about last week's show where people were very excited to be winning two cookbooks because I made two sauces. I made the hot and saucy steak sauce out of book six and then I did the creamy mustard sauce out of book four. So the three very excited winners is Sally Dentley Yates, Kylie Terry and Glenis Dempster. Well done ladies and I hope you enjoy your two cookbooks. Now I want to talk about the ingredients because it's going to be fantastic this recipe. You're going to put it in your family favourite list. But before I get into it, I just wondered if you've ever wanted to try my premium breakfast shakes because right now this is the perfect time because I've got a special offer that finishes on Sunday at midnight and it's 20% off all the shakes. That's right. 20% off. Now you get 14 sachets in a box. Hello, this is them here. And uh, you also get a menu plan for um, two weeks to use the shakes as well, plus some recipes to make with the shakes too. Now I love these shakes. I have one every morning for breakfast. And even on those really crazy, crazy busy days, sometimes I'll have um, a shake for a light lunch or dinner as well. I love them, I hope you do too. So don't forget, 20% off till Sunday. All right, so let's look at the ingredients for sticky lemon loaf. And why it's called sticky lemon loaf is because you put a syrup on the top once it's cooked. I know, get excited. So what we need is we need a couple of lemons. Now, if you can get them where they're not waxy, that's easier to grate. I could only get these, we'll work with it. So you need to make, uh, have two tablespoons of lemon juice. Then you also need two tablespoons of rind, plus a third a cup of lemon juice to add in the syrup. We're gonna have a third a cup of white sugar, two egg whites. I've got my margarine here, it's the flora light. We need either three tablespoons or 45 grams. Remember, I always do the 15 gram tablespoons. And let's just actually put that in now. While I think about it, let's put it in to the mic. Oh, oh, hello, jumping out at me. Let's just, I always cling wrap it so it avoids the, um, the microwave from getting really splattered and you know with the margarine i put it also on power seven instead of ten and i think that just makes the margarine melt really well so that's 45 grams or three tablespoons remember we've got the rind and the juice a third a cup two egg whites you also need three quarters a cup of skim milk one and a half cups of self-raising flour, and also you're gonna put in half a teaspoon of bicarb soda. And then for the, um, the syrup, you need a quarter of a cup of icing sugar, and as I said, a third a cup of lemon juice. I've got my cooking spray, my loaf tin's ready to go, everything's gonna happen now, so let's get started. Okay, so I think we'll do the rind first. Let's do that. So we need two tablespoons. Now I'm gonna um, put this on the large one because the large one for grating, because it's quicker for me on the show. But if you've got the time, go to this one here because that's just more finer. But I'll show you what I do to make it better. Now, as I said, we want two tablespoons of fresh lemon rind. Now you can swap it around. Remember I said that to you in the beginning. If you have oranges growing on the tree, then you could do orange sticky lemon loaf. Or if you want and you have both, then you could do half and half and make it a citrus. That looks pretty great. All right, so I'm just gonna put that to the side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my knife and I'm actually going to chop it up. You don't want big pieces of rind in the cake because it gets in your mouth and you'll be like, ew. But uh, this is the easy way to fix it. Look, we love this recipe in our house. I make it a lot um, because, I don't know, there's just something nice because one of my daughters isn't a big fan of 
icing sugar, you know, like the icing on cakes. So this is a way to have it without the icing. Now, I mentioned as well last week that I got the idea to do this cake because my little granddaughter, hello, Sophia and Ned, who's in lockdown in Sydney. Love you, babe. It's actually her mum's birthday today. Happy birthday, my Jenna. Oh, my gosh. I just miss you so much. Anyway, last week, Sophia made the sticky lemon loaf. She sent me a photo. She was very proud of herself. I thought, oh, gosh, if a six, seven-year-old, seven-year-old can do it, anyone can. All right, so she inspired me. They inspire me every day, my grandkids. Okay, we want two tablespoons. See how it's much finer because I've chopped it up, which is a lot better. Actually, all that can go in. All right, so now the rind's done. I want to do the juice. So I'm going to reuse this again. And we want two tablespoons for the cake, so I'm going to put that in here. Then I'm going to keep squeezing because we need a third a cup to go with the syrup. Now this traditionally would be um, very high in calories and fat because they normally would put a lot of butter and sugar in this particular recipe. They make it quite dense. But not the Annette way, it's 2.4 grams of fat, yes, per slice. This is enough, it serves 10 slices. And it's, as I said, 2.4 grams of fat, but it's only really 138 calories per slice, which is pretty fabulous for a cake, that's for sure. So diabetics, you can enjoy it too. All right. So as I said, we need a third a cup for the syrup. That's why I'm doing um, all the juice in one go because you want to do it all and get it uh, ready ahead. Thanks for joining me today. I love my Thursdays with Annette, so I catch up with all my besties out there. All right. <laughs> Two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. One, two, and that's the cake ingredients prepped and ready. Now I need a third of a cup of, there we go. We are ready to get cooking. Let me just wash my little hands. Oh my gosh, this is such a fantastic recipe. I hope you try it this week because I think your family will love it. Goes great with a cup of tea. So what do we do? Now, traditionally, this is how I do cakes and muffins and that. Two egg whites. Now, if you don't want to waste the yolk, you can buy egg whites in the carton and it's 36 grams per egg white. So I would need 70, two grams of egg white for this recipe. All right, so two egg whites and a third a cup of white sugar. So when you think about that, that's for 10 slices. A third a cup of sugar isn't bad, especially because it's lemon, and lemon can make things quite tart. All right. Oven is preheated to 180 degrees, don't forget that. Now I'm going to get the marge out of the microwave. Okay. I tend to always pour the milk into the margarine because that's a bit hot and I find that way it cools the margarine down. So we combine that. So this is where you put in the milk and the marge. You'll put in the lemon juice, which was two tablespoons, remember, and the two tablespoons of grated fresh lemon rind. Now I'm just going to beat that together. See how easy this is? And then all we have to do is sift in the flour and I'm going to put in the half a, teaspoon of, yeah, half a teaspoon of bicarb, 
put that in with the flour and then we're just going to sift the whole lot boom, in one go. It takes about 30 minutes to cook it in the oven and uh, then I'll show you something because I've actually made one ahead so I can show you straight up how to make the beautiful sticky sauce. This is where you forget about your mix master and this is where the wooden spoon comes out. And this is the trick with my baking that you don't want to really viciously beat it because it really can make the baking tough. So you just gently move that mixture in, mix the flour in. It doesn't take long to get into the mixture so you don't want to like over beat it. And that way you'll get a beautiful, light, fluffy cake. Once that flour has mixed in, boom, we're done. Okay. I mean, how hard was that? And I'm sorry, but homemade baking is the best because we make it with love, as my little Sophia Nick did last week. Okay, cooking spray. A large loaf tin. And we're going to scrape the mixture in. And as I said, there is your sticky lemon loaf. Okay, look at that beautiful batter. Oh, it smells so good. You could even do lime. I don't have that as a variation, um, but yeah, lime would be nice as well. Okay, now what you need to do when you're doing the cake is you, you can move it side to side to spread it, but I really think it's important to flatten it out. Push it to the edges so that it, the cake gets really even. And then push it away from the centre a bit because that way you're going to get a flat cake. But otherwise, what happens is you get this mould in the middle and it's too high. So there it is, done. In the oven, 30 minutes. Let's put the timer on. Okay, so now cake is in the oven and then what you'll do is you'll wait for it to be cooked and then, just because we can, here it is, it's still hot, is already one done. All right, so there is the beautiful cake. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to make the syrup. So all it is, is that third a cup of lemon juice and a quarter of a cup of icing sugar. Let's give it a beat. Mix it together. And that's your syrup. I know, how easy is this cake? Now I'm going to get a little whisk because I want to mix it up really well. Get that icing sugar dissolved into the lemon juice. You know I love my little whisk. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do is the fun bit. Now this is why Sophia loved making it, is we're going to go in and we're going to prick it. Open it up so that when we pour the syrup over the top, it's going to sink into the cake. That's why it's called sticky. Yes, we love a sticky. <laughs> so be quite generous with your, your forking. And then you'll just pour it over. I think that looks pretty fantastic. So let's pour it over. Now I'm going to use a spoon here as well and just do it this way. If you just pour it over, it's quite quick. I like to just give it time to settle in, pouring it over the cake. And it will soak in just so beautifully so it has that gorgeous sort of sweet tang of the syrup. And I'm going to leave it for a good five minutes or even till it's cooled. And then I'm going to lift it out, put it on a rack, and get ready to enjoy it. Now remember it's 2.4 grams of fat a slice. So it's really fantastic, it's out of book three. So if you wanna win this book, you know what you have to do for this week, don't you? Like every week, look at that. Isn't that fabulous? There we go. 
<gasps> Sticky lemon loaf. I'll take a photo of it later and put it in the comments for you, okay? Now, don't forget, before we get into anything else, that we've got that great deal with the 20% off the shakes. That's all flavours. It's the vanilla, creamy vanilla, iced coffee, wicked chocolate, and the dairy-free. That's right. It finishes midnight Sunday. All right, so now when you look at this cake, all I have to say is who knew weight loss could be so deliciously healthy because it's so fabulous. And I'm going to see if you would like to win a cookbook. What do you have to do? Well, I've got cake batter over everything. You've got to have to like, share, and then you know what you've got to do. Hashtag simply too good. Write exactly that in the comments. And I hope I get to pick you this week and you get a free signed personally copy of book three. Now next week's show I'm going to be delving into book six and it's the garlic green pepper prawns. Oh my gosh it is so fabulous and you can make it without prawns so I can tell you so if you go I don't like prawns in there don't worry I've got you covered. But for now it's all about sticky lemon loaf and it's all done. Boom for another week. Take care everybody and if you're in lockdown I'm sending you lots of love and maybe this would be a fun thing to do to take your mind off things. So take care and by the way, happy birthday Jenna. Bye now.